Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today topic is how to fix encryption key fail to decrypt from where on user. Are you encountering the first setting encryption key fail to decrypt from where error while using the user emulator? The issue can often arise when the emulator encounter difficulty decrypting the firmware due to encryption key mismatch. The so in this particular video we will guide you how to fix this problem. First we you have to update your user emulator. The encryption key fail to decrypt from where error may occur if you are running an outdated version of user emulator. You have to need first open the emulator on your computer and now navigate to help menu. So check for update. If update is available, follow the prompts to later and install the later version of user. Once updated, restart user and check if the error persists. And second solution, redump your encryption key. Sometimes the error is a result of corrupted or outdated encryption key. So Boot your Nintendo Switch into RCM mode and launch your preferred payload injector. Use a tool like lockpick-rcm to dump your key directly from send switches. Once dumped, transfer the key to the key directory on user emulator folder and restart user and attempt to run a game. And third solution is verify your firmware. Files. Corrupted or incomplete firmware files can also trigger decryption error. Ensuring your firmware files are compatible and uncorrupted is crucial. Locate the firmware files in your Nintendo Switch SD card. Open the firmware files. Click on file and then install firmware. And navigate to copy firmware files for select installation. After the installation process, launch a game to check if the error is persist or not. So, for solution is check user configuration. Incorrect setting within user configuration might lead to a description error. Adjust this setting can sometimes resolve this problem. So, you have to follow the instruction on the screen to check user configuration. Also, fifth solution is use MI editor to verify firmware. The MI editor can be a useful tool to verify if the firmware is correctly installed and functioning by in user. So, you have to need a launch emulator and navigate to tools option in the top menu and select the me editor and observe if it open without issue if the me editor open and functionally correctly so it's a good indication that a firmware might be installed properly and six solutions perform a malware scan malicious software can interfere with user operation including the decryption process running a malware scan can eliminate the possibility so you have to need user repetitive antivirus or anti-malware for software. Quarantine and remove any threat that are detected after the scan and clean up. Restart your computer and open user to see if the issues persist or resolve. And server solution is source key legitimately. Ensuring that your source and prod key are legitimate and everything crucial for ethical and an ethical reason and legal. So, obtain your prod key directly from your own Nintendo Switch console, avoid downloading key from unverified or illegal sources and place the legitimate of obtain key in the correct directory within Yuzu. So, after placing the key in the correct directory, launch Yuzu and attempt to run a game to ensure use that error has been resolved. You have to uninstall and install Yuzu correctly. If all else fails, there might be a deeper issue with Yuzu installation. A PRIAS install could be a key to resolving that description error. So uninstall for user completely. You have to follow the instruction on the screen. Also, if you have tried all of the steps and still face the encryption key, fail to describe firmware error, it might be time to seek help from expert. Reaching out to user support team can provide you with a specialized assistant tailored to your Unix situation. So you have to click on this link. Now we are on the user help center. So you have to fill asking for help and fill up a form for your problem so they will troubleshoot your problem i hope this video is very helpful for you thank you for watching this video we will catch up in our next video